Hello everyone. Welcome for a new lecture series on copyright permission. So today we will discuss the copyright permission for another publishers that is SCS publication, American Chemical Society. So today we will understand how we can take copyright permission from SES publications to reuse any figures or tables for a review article or book chapters or books. So let's start how we can take copyright permission from SCS publications to reuse any figures or graphs. Let's start. So suppose I am interested to take the copyright permission for this figure. I want to reuse this figure when I am writing a book or book chapter or a review article, then it is important to take copyright permission as we know from our previous lectures. So now suppose I want to reuse this figure one, I want to reuse for our book chapters or review article. So then how I can take this copyright permission for this? So as I told from the beginning, that we have to first of all our aim is we have to copy the title then we will go for this google scholar and just type this figure uh, this title and then i open this one so now here you can see like as we know from in LCB here where we can get this one or in Willy we already understand where we have to do the we have to take the permission. So here for SES, so you can see here, here you can find now in this title and then here you can see right and permission. So here this is a little bit easier to take copyright permission. So here you can you can see now in this title below this here you can find this right in permission. So just we have to click here right in permission. So also when also someone writing thesis that time also they can also follow this process. They can take if they are using introduction chapter usually when you are writing thesis usually in the introduction chapters usually you are you try to incorporate some uh, published articles figures so that time also you have to take the copyright permission so that also you can follow the same process so okay so now you can see now what is our the next process next process is we have to sign in so you can see now here we have to sign in so so already we know on the how to create account already i discussed about that how to create account so otherwise if you don't have account so then you can uh, create an uh, account. So as we discussed earlier. So I just skip that one. So if you you can uh, you are new, then you can see the part one lecture. There you can able to find how we can create the account that I already explained in detail. So now you can see I logged in. 
So now here, I would like to as if you are writing a review article, then you can write it for journals. Uh, but I will uh, write for book chapters uh, or book. So then I can go for for book or book chapter. If you are for thesis, you can see for thesis also you can find it here. For the, those who are interested for thesis to take the copyright permission for book, you can see this one book chapter or book. Reusing a book or book chapter. So you can for search this one. Next, here. First one done. Next, request type. So request type is author's original work, profit, non profit. So original work means if you want for your work, you want to take copyright permission. But if not your work, so then we can follow for profit or for non-profit, both process we can do. If this is a non-profitable, then you can write non-profit. Then here the person make a selection. So full article or tabular figures, we just follow the tables and figures. So now number or table number of figures if one i just uh, figure one we will take so one figure if we do then we can say two then here format electronic and print both we should follow then select the currency usd you just keep the usd so now continue this so here you can see now this is your So close window. So here you can see the permission or license is granted for your order, no charge. So this is complete free of cost. So you don't have to pay anything and directly you got this one. So you have to take this, you have to just take it print screen and save it for your further use. So, in this SEC, this is very simple and very easy to take copyright permission from SCS publications. So, now here for PDA purpose, we have to just take the control P for print screen, and this one you save it for your further purpose. And if you are writing a book or book chapter, you have to save it and you have to send it. Uh, uh, when you will submit your book or book chapter. So now we will do one more changes and we'll see it whether you have to charge, you will get charged or you have to pay money or not. So we can also follow one more process that like as we told here non-profit, if we make it for profit, if we make it for profit, figure one, suppose we were interested, print and electronic, and this, suppose profit, like some of when you are publishing papers, some of uh, they are interested in profit mode. So, then we can just continue. And here you can see also, is granted for your order and no charge. So, if you will do also the profit mode also, that is also no charge. So from SCS, that is the sim the uh, the process is very simple to take copyright permission. And here also you don't have to give any money or any charges required for profitable or non-profitable work uh, for non-profitable uh, to reuse your figures or tables so i just close this
So thank you very much. So today we understand how we can take the copyright permission to reuse figures or tables when you are writing a book chapter or books or any review article or also for thesis. This is for SCS publications. So like we faced the problem when we, we, we saw in the previous lecture when we were doing for weekly journals, we are facing the problem that we can't able to take copyright permission if you don't have fun because they need the uh, money to reuse their figures. Those who are open access, I'm not saying, but we, we saw that uh, usually we have to, we those who are in sub subscription mode, if any paper uh, from a journal, from any uh, article in Willy, if you, you are interested to reuse their figures, then very difficult to take copyright permission because they need money for that. But from LCP here, we understand we can take easily, no money required, no charges required. Similarly, today also we understand that for SCS also, for LCP here and SCS, so there is no charge, completely free of cost to take copyright permission to reuse any figures or tables, particularly from LCP or any journals of LCP or also or also any article, any articles from LCP or also any articles from SCS. So that is what in Willy there is a restriction. If you are the main author, then we can able to, if you are an author, not main, you are, if you are an author, then and you can able to take copyright permission that is free of cost. But if you are not an author of, of, of this article, then you have to keep fund for that. In contrary to that, LCB here and SCS, we don't have to pay anything. So in our next upcoming video, we will understand that whether we can take copyright permission from Royal Society of Chemistry, RSC journals, from RSC journals, and then we will go for IOP journals, and also we will go for AIP journals. So these three, we will discuss these three in our next uh, coming videos, we will discuss these three. One is for RSC journals, how we can take copyright permission, and whether we can able to take or any money needed for uh, taking reusing their figures from RSC publishers. And then next we'll go for IOP publishers and also we'll go for AIP and also one more also we'll cover Springer. So all this we will all these four we will cover and then we will end this series and this series how to take copyright permission from dependent publisher and end the le end lecture we will discuss that which of the journals we will compare and then we will found we will go to a solution that which of the journal if you don't have any financial fund to take the copyright permission then particularly from particularly which journals you have to focus to take to reuse their figures when we are writing some books or book chapters or review articles. So thank you very much. So we again we will see meet on next week.